Welcome to Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel Family Channel. So today I wanted to talk to you about some new thinning scissors that I got. I got these Ashley Craig thinning scissors at my last dog show um, because my other ones are pretty dead. They can't sharpen them anymore and they're pretty, um, pretty done. So these are my old scissors here. They were, let's see if I can see what they even are on them. They were a really great pair of scissors. I really like them. They're a good weight. They're a good length. The new ones I got, I think, are slightly shorter here. So I'll put these ones out. I love the color, the gold and black. Um, so you see they're just slightly, slightly shorter, but they're comparable in weight, probably a little bit lighter, which is really nice. Because um, if you know, if you're a dog groomer or you're grooming your own dog, a lot of dog grooming gives you carpal tunnel. So it's the lighter instruments, the better. So this one definitely is lighter. So my, for choosing these scissors here, yeah, they're about the same or slightly lighter. Um, I wanted the ease of the open and shut here. I didn't want them to be sticky. They fit nicely in my hand here. These ones are probably a little noisier just because they're older, but they're somewhat, they were quite smooth as well. I chose the ones that were the smoothest opening and closing here. Um, anyways, I'll tell you a little bit more about the makeup in just a sec. Hey, so Emma and Cole are here to tell you a little bit more about these Ashley Craig Art Deco Signature Series. So here are these lovely scissors. So they are, their Art Deco Signature Series by Ashley Craig. They're 440C Japanese steel. They hold an edge longer. They're balanced. Ashley Craig's top performance quality you can depend on. Ball bearing screw assembly for a smooth cutting action, fully ergonomic offset for less hand and wrist stress, rose gold mirror and black flat finish. Each pair comes with a protective shield sleeve that will take less space and weight in your tackle box. So this is, this is them here. This is their sleeve inside here. I think it's got two little sleeves, but you've got your Ashley Craig one and that there. And here are the scissors. I do have to say, especially if you're grooming a lot or whatever, this nice ergonomic kind of, see how they're just, got the handle is just slightly tilted. It does make it easier for holding for sure. You know, like this, or like this. You know, make all these different actions and you can hear them they're very nice and smooth. I'm trying to get near the volume, sorry. They're very nice, there they are. So far, I really like them. I find that if I'm doing a lot of fur, like I need to take a good chunk off, they're not made for that. They're not a chunking uh, thinning scissors. They're made to do finishing, um, pretty faces. I used them on a schnauzer yesterday and rounded some of the sides in his face and rounded some of his legs with them uh, after I'd done the scissors just to kind of not make it such a sharp edge around them. Um, I use them on the Springer Spaniels here, their neckline. I won't use them on feet. I'm saving these. I don't want to use these on the everyday kind of grooming. I want to keep them because they're a good pair. My old pair still do somewhat work and I can use them on feet. Um, and I can use, they're a little bit longer and I can use them on when I need to chunk more. I need to get some more scissors. I kind of get them when I need them. Um, but now I'm doing more dogs and for show and stuff. And even just my old guy here, I, I, I think I need to collect some more. So I'm going to try to do that. This is my first one. And I do really like them. I find they're very sharp. They've been holding their edge. Like right now, they're I can't really even touch them. They're so sharp. They're lovely. They're really easy on my hand. And they're very smooth action. So I'm going to show you a little bit. I'm going to do Cole's neck. Um, I shaved under his neck the other day. Um, and I didn't do his ears, but I'm just going to blend the sides in and you can have a little look at them blending in. There's Ember having a rest waiting for Cole to get up on the table. So I'll put Cole over here. He doesn't want to get groomed, but he's not very much Cole. I'm just going to blend his neck in. I'm letting them get furry until December. And then I'm going to give them their Christmas cuts. They've been so groomed, Ember, especially since she was showing so much in the summer. I thought I'd just kind of let her get a little bit burly now and then I can take it down for her Christmas cut feet. I always keep up so they both have nicely trimmed feet right now and I do their toenails and sometimes we do feet and bum just under their tail so that we don't get any little cling on things back there but else than that um, I'm just going to show you me thinning out his neck a little bit and you can see how they work so just a sec. Cole's already here he's going to show you I brushed him out he looks very handsome his feet still need doing again but they were done maybe a week or two ago so I'm not worrying about them right this second. But here's his neck. I've shaved under here, started to grow back, but I thought I'd just gently 
blend some of this in here and we'll just try out the new scissors. We can use a little bit on his back. I'm not gonna worry about under the ear, but I'll just blend this in and show you how that works. Okay, we're gonna try this. I'm gonna lift Cole's ear. Okay, I'm gonna angle my scissors down. I'm just gonna take some off here. Just doing a pretty good job, as you can see. It takes the hair and pulls it in the scissors, so you do have to occasionally dump your hair out there. You can hear the nice scissors working. And it makes a very pretty cut. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it makes the job quite quick to do. I've already pretty much got my line here in. I'm just gonna grab my scissors here. Cole's just gonna move his head a little bit that way. I need something to hold his ear up. And I'm gonna lift the hair. This is how you do your thinning. You're gonna lift and scissor at the same time. You can't see because of his ear. I'll try readjusting him a little bit. There, okay, I like that, buddy. So we're just blending this in here. We're just gonna have to take a little length off this area here. Down again a little bit, comb it in the area. You can see the work goes quite nicely, quickly. It's a pretty cut. So I do really like these scissors. I would definitely recommend getting these. Even if you're just starting out or if you're a seasoned groomer, they're very nice or you're, you're like to show your dogs um, as a hobby or whatever, they work really nicely. They're definitely something I'm glad I invested in. I haven't had to sharpen them yet and I'm hoping they last for a while without having to do that because uh, I've had some sharpening issues and it's hard to find some that's good and close by and easy to get, get to or have them come to you. There are some that come to you, which is really nice, but... I'm still just blending in here. I like to take this little bit of black. You can't see it. Hold on, see if you can see it just at Cole's. Wait, there, we'll try that. Cole's white here, I like to bring the black up because he said black, big black dog. Uh, and I like to see as much white on him as I can. So I'm just gonna try to blend that in a little bit. I can blend down his leg a little. And you can see his neck already. I think there's a little bit maybe I need to do here. Oh, my arm's in the way. There we go. In here. And I would have that all shaved off by his ear here, but I'll just... But now he has a nice smooth line in here. Good boy. Blend a little bit of this in here. Thank you, Cole. That's perfect. Just gotta use your comb and brush away what you've done so you can see what else needs to be done. You want to be blending the dog's hair in the way its coat grows and it's gonna look the best. Sometimes you have to open them up like I'm doing here. I'm opening Cole up for more of a white shoulder here to, off, to show off his beautiful shoulder because Cole has lovely shoulders here. I'll take a little length off here. Anyways, there you go. These are how these scissors work. I'm really enjoying them. And I can't wait to try some more Ashley Craig scissors. There's a cute little set of scissors I'd like to get. I'll insert them here. And there, I'm gonna, I'd love to use them on toes. They've got some little ones to, that would be great for doing um, around the feet and even inside if I'm not shaving them. And then there's some thinning ones as well that you could use on the tops of the pads that would save my bigger thinning scissors. Um, and I could use them just on the dog. And then there's these little curved ones, which I could definitely see using on the dog or definitely on feet and doing around toes and things like that. So hopefully maybe I'll get those ones for Christmas and I can show you guys those ones. But um, I will try to insert where I bought these ones. I do have the receipt. And I can try to find the lady's website. Actually, I did. I think it's called Little Angels. Uh, but I'll insert um, the website here. And I'll put it in the description so you guys can see um, where I got them in Canada. Anyways, they were at the dog show and it was just easy. I kept eyeing them at a couple dog shows. And then the last dog show that Amber finished at, I said, you know what? I'm going to get these. And my husband agreed. We get something nice, a little present for Amber and I for finishing. And uh, so that's. 
that's when it gets sorry it's hard you can't see me doing the head there but so this is just how you back comb and as you go you're just gently so they're away and there's Coley's neck it's a nice and smooth line in there just a sec cool so they can see right there it's nice and smooth if his ears had been properly shaved it would look even better i'll do the other side side and then i'll show you both and then that'll be it so here's cole his neck is finished i finished the other side over here in the nice smooth line into his shoulder here's this side here the scissors did a great job cole wanted to show me show you the mess here this is just from his neck that's all i've done i've no feet no nothing this is just for thinning that small portion of his neck here with those scissors, the great job they did, the smooth line. There's no scissor marks, there's no nothing. Looks really nice, blends in really well to his neck. So here, these are our Onyx Ashley Craig, uh, sorry, Art Deco by Ashley Craig fitting shears. I think they're 6.5. And uh, we really like them, the ergonomic, it really helps. I get carpal tunnel, it's not super bad, but it's starting to not be great since I've been grooming more and these will definitely help with that. Here's their lovely little case. Hey, Cole, what do we say? Thank you for watching Ember and Cole's English Minger Spaniel Family Channel and our Ashley Craig Art Deco um, thinning shears. We really enjoy them, and uh, we hope that you guys will give them a try. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Take care. Bye.